What's happening? Whoa, that's loud. Now, what is happening? Quick and easy tutorial, painless, for the very, very beginner for Fruity Loops. Um, some people are confused when they get Fruity Loops and it doesn't look as professional and cool looking as Reason or Logic or Cubase or whatever else they use. But I'm going to tell you right now, I've said it many times before, it's not the equipment or software that you use, it's the engineer yourself and how the engineer yourself uses the software and equipment that they have. Uh, basically what that means is you need to know your stuff and you'll make good music. Basically it sums it up right there. You can have a $100,000 setup and be making crap and the guy down the street can have a $2,000 setup and be dropping hits on Fruity Loops. Anyways, enough blabbling, rambling. I'm going to show you newbies out there how to scan for new plugins. And when you get Fruity Loops and install your first VST, by the way, you can download a bunch of free VSTs from themusictip.com. And uh, that will get you started right away with some cool sounds. Get your sound fonts and your drums and all that. i got a bunch of stuff on there for free. You don't even have to register, but I do encourage you to register. All right, yeah, that's about too much time wasted on this one. Anyways, I'll get you, I'll get to the point. Uh, what you want to do? I got a blank project here. You don't really need anything, so I'm just gonna go to right click on my channel, or you can go to channels, add one, and then more. Same thing. And uh, here's all my plugins that I have. Basically, when you when you get your Fruity Loops, yours won't show up. Yours won't show any of this. It'll uh, be pretty bare and just have the stock sounds or stock plugins that comes with Fruity Loops. So what you want to do is go down here to refresh and hit fast scan recommended. And it says six new plugins are found. Yeah, I've probably already scanned for them before, but uh, when it says a new plugin is found, it will highlight red, and you will definitely see it out of all the black. So. When you see something that you want to use, you can. Let's try to find something here that I have. I don't know. I'll just say, maybe FL Keys was one of my new plugins, but it won't be. You'll have something like something that you installed, obviously. Uh, so say Vanguard was a new plugin that I had, and it will show up red. And what you want to do is you can hit F. I guess F stands for feature or something like that. It features it in the plugin list when you go to insert a new channel. And you can just double click that and it pops right up. And it will show up in your list, your featured list, when you insert or replace a new channel. And now you'll hear my famous gated synth that I always use. That's all I'll show you on that. Cause that's my exclusive sound not really but I love it and that's all you really need to do to scan for new plugins um, there is another little technique that you can do if you don't know where your plugins are installed usually a default location on a 32-bit system will be under program files and then VST plugins on a 64-bit system which is what I'm using it'll be under x86 I'm sure you could do it under just program files. I just have it set up under x86. And that just stands for 32-bit. So you can uh, browse for VSTs in another folder if you would like. If you have them installed somewhere else on your disk. You know, wherever you might have it. All you got to do is browse for your folder. And uh, just open it up and it'll browse. And then you can go in there and refresh. And uh, it should show up red if you install the VST properly. And after that, that's about all for this tutorial. Hope uh, help some newbies out with that one. Until next time, check out themusictip.com, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.